Hi everyone, Melissa here, cloudmom.com. So we lost our seventh family tooth last night. Very exciting. Thought I would talk a little bit today about the tooth fairy and different traditions. My partner Deirdre has a really lovely tradition in her house. She leaves a glass of water next to the tooth. And when she goes in, and it is her, she sprinkles a little bit of food coloring into the water glass. I bought a box this morning with assorted colors. I thought this was great. I'm going to use it again for Easter. And when her child wakes up in the morning, he thinks that dust from the angel's wings has fallen off into his water glass. And he has so much fun noticing what color wings the angel must have had. I can't believe he's still, you know, going for it. But... I think it's really lovely. Me, I would not do this because I'd be worried that some kid would be pulling on my leg and I would end up spilling the glass with the food coloring all over the rug and it would be a total disaster. But what I worry about more is organizing the teeth. I used to just throw them all into one place and now I wrap each tooth in a little piece of toilet paper and put it in an envelope which has the child, the date, and the number tooth it was. So like Headley, June 1st, tooth number four. And that's been helping me keep the whole thing organized. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with all these teeth, but at least I'm trying to keep them together in one place. My two oldest boys, meanwhile, are fighting over who has lost the most teeth. So often I look over, and my second boy is trying to pull out a tooth that he thinks is loose, like this. And I keep telling him that he's not going to get the same amount of money from the tooth fairy, or she's not going to even come unless the tooth falls out naturally, but he doesn't seem to be buying that. So anyway, those are just a few words about how things are with the Tooth Fairy in my house and in my partner's house. But let me know what you do. And thank you so much for watching.